Hey everyone, welcome back to House of Virgo. This is Kelly. I'm going to do your daily love reading here for all Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If you're new, please do click subscribe on my channel if you enjoy these messages. I will also be here tomorrow to give you your weekend love reading. So also you can go to over to my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot, here on YouTube to get daily collective messages, okay? All right, Virgos, let's see what this love has to bring. I'm just getting that song from Maroon 5. This love has taken its toll on me. Dun, dun. I think that's the song. Um, I don't remember. Is it called This Love? I don't remember. I just hear the melody in my head. So I hope that you were able to <laughs> get the, I don't know the lyrics. I hope you were able to get what I was doing there, what I was trying to portray to you. Um, is it Maroon Maroon 5? This love has so many times before. I don't know. Okay. All right, let's get into this. I just heard the name Paul. Hello, Paul. Who's Paul? I'm bringing somebody in by the name of Paul. Paul is working. I see working with a hammer right now hammering some nails into a piece of plywood or a piece of wood working at a there's a stump tree stump it's outside there are birds there's a lot of woods it's on the edge of a field where there's forest okay hammering hammering away working hard sweaty uh, muscular or uh, tanned for sure strong someone who's very strong okay let's get into this let's get into this all right sunglasses yet again okay watching looking stalking okay focusing outward not focusing on self Hiding behind the sun. I wear my sunglasses at night. Somebody's watching you, Virgo, stalking. Um, watching you. <laughs> they're, okay, they're, they're saying perception. Uh, wondering if something is true with what they're seeing. Um, looking to see if something is is real or if something is true okay i don't know exactly what that means it's just, there's a spying energy trying to find out something okay palm tree wow stability security permanence growth endurance flexibility okay so there's definitely an energy here of someone they're seeking it feels like looking to see if you're in a relationship with someone okay maybe there somebody might be vacationing or be somewhere where it's sunny they have to wear their sunglasses could be right now there, there are some palm trees it could be an area where there's palm trees um hmm and that's could be anywhere in the world um Somebody is um, looking for permanence, stability, and security. Okay. <sighs> These are weird messages. Let me see. Wow. Date. I feel like this was similar to what came out the other, the last reading was the day before yesterday. Um, meeting somebody new, dating, getting back out there, planning or setting a date. Somebody wants to date you, and that's what it is. They're looking to see if you're involved or if you are... Um, oh my goodness, if you're married or if you could be their one and only. Wow. They're seeking truth, the sword and the rose, clarity. This person, somebody's coming and chasing after you here. This could be somebody new. This could be somebody you're already connected to. Paradise, here we go. Okay, with the palm tree and the water. Um, somewhere where it's sunny and warm. Are you on an island by yourself or are you on that island with somebody else? Are you partnered up? This person wants to connect with you, be playful, enjoy spending time together, but definitely in a chaser. 
you may know this person there somebody may have abandonment or been abandoned or has a fear of abandonment watching to see if you're with someone else and uh, wanting to connect with you let me get my light on you guys sorry about that Whew. that's really bright like in my face bright all right let's get into this reading and see what's going on here okay i'm gonna do a celtic cross i'm feeling the celtic cross right now so give me a second i just want to give these cards a little bit of a shuffle this person your paradise for them okay so the queen of wands is here in the past position okay that's fire energy specifically leo um this is bold moves as an energy it was courage it represented courage vibrancy optimism um a confident sexy assertive type of energy here could have also been somebody you were connected with okay um sexy chaotic hot tempered bit forgetful but an independent and efficient okay a very energetic as an energy a very energetic energy that's all the sun let me see here current position okay wow three of pentacles so currently right now okay this could have been your energy as well in the past where you were like on fire about something in your past currently though you have teamwork okay um you're like ready to commit you're wanting to commit you're looking for someone or you're trying to attract someone who is in the energy that you are who will be dedicated um, will pay attention to you who is determined to reach goals with you someone that wishes for a committed relationship possibly marriage um, someone that wants to not grow away from you but grow with you okay and if and you know even someone who's open and willing and motivated to be a partner okay in your life this is the energy that you have right now right um hmm you have the chariot so this is crossing you okay so there's like a little bit of a challenge here to overcome some obstacles in your own personal life but you're doing it okay you're very determined you have your ambition a lot of this has to do with having a new love partner or just having new love to be able to manifest in your life okay but just remember you've got somebody here who seems to have some kind of a thing for you or is watching you and is wanting this now maybe they haven't come forward yet um we'll see if they do my goodness ten of cups what's this yesterday's reading there was a reading i, I don't remember which one i did but it was like beautiful energy um yeah you're seeking this happily ever after here possibly a reunion with someone or desiring that for someone or with somebody okay it's either a union or having somebody new right you're all i feel like you have your confidence you might have recently regained your confidence and feel yourself like you're back on the horse you're on fire feeling passionate about your life feeling vibrant feeling attractive sexy knowing who the hell you are you know we're not always in the state of having to fix our crowns some of us have actually fixed our damn crowns and believe it or not <laughs> we're not in a oh my goodness look at this knight of cups yeah i mean it seems to me like you're ready you're ready for love to receive and to offer invitations that come in you're like yes i'm up for it i'm ready um being swept off your feet yes i'm ready for it dating yes i'm ready for it and somebody might even be sensing this about you right now okay whether that's is it someone external to you or you whoever they are is sensing that you're vibrant and you, and you got yourself in a good place and you're ready for love i just heard that isn't that a um, bad company song ready for love i don't know some of you are like most of you probably know who that that group is from like i think was it the 70s or the 80s ready for love okay you're ready you're ready for love right so what's driving you right now this coming from your heart is your your, your emotions in your heart you're very balanced and you you know you're coming into this energy if you're not quite there yet but you're very balanced 
And you're also in a position of, hmm, I can pick and choose now. I'm not in a position of desperation. If I have two offers come in for partnership, you know, I can, I can weigh it out. I can see who will be the better fit for me or what will be the better fit for me. So you're in a really good place. Um, you know, you're balancing your ups and downs. If you feel, you know, like there's been an emotional roller coaster that you're on or that you've been on in the past, you're, you're, it's leveling out. I see a lot of leveling out energy here. Okay. And it's good. Okay. In your, like in your heart, your heart is leveling out. So it must, you must have come through something and you, I feel like somebody here wants to give you a wedding ring <laughs> or um, make an everlasting promise to you or have that soul connection, eternal love kind of thing. Okay. You're definitely going to be chased after I'm telling you. Okay. And, and probably because you're getting yourself in a position to receive now. All right, let me see. All right, what's crowning on you? You're definitely, okay, the emperor. Your mindset is lovely. You're in control in the sense of you're focused. You're disciplined. Um, you could be thinking of an older male, okay? This could be someone who's like a father figure or is a father or has children or is just someone who is very stable and dependable this could be an ideal that you have in your mind of what you're looking for male or female energy but someone if it's if it's if it's a feminine energy it's someone who's in more of a masculine energy where they can hold their own okay someone who is returns the favor I'm hearing, gives stability, gives structure in return, gives protection, um, has a form of confidence and authority as well. Um, it, all the same, masculine or feminine energy, someone who's self-disciplined and focused, but is logical. It's not overly emotional and over, overly crazy with these emotional ups and downs. This is stability and emotions, okay? In the reverse, it's basically like someone who would be lacking balance, lack of organization, poor financial decisions, poor de decisions that are made, even like practical decisions being made by um, emotional ups and downs are no good. Um, so there's an energy here of either that's you think in a position that you are in your life right now, or that's what you are uh, only accepting that type of energy from people, okay? So you have the four. Oh, yeah. See, look at this. There's long-term security coming here for you. Okay. Oh, do you hear my stomach? I haven't eaten yet. My stomach's growling. Okay. Um, hmm. Four pentacles. Let's take a look. Oh, wow. And you have the six of swords. Okay. So I feel like you have a decision coming up here, whether to hold on or, or let go. Yeah, I feel like you, you, you've got a decision because there's two cards here and these are two very contrasting cards. You have a decision whether to hold on to something or block something or just move on or face your fears and accept something. So yeah, you've got this energy of like, do I stay or do I go coming up for you? Okay, so some type of transition or decision that's made. Do I hold on to something? Whether that's an ideal or a person, place, or a thing, which would be an ideal, or do I just keep healing, making progress, move, moving forward, okay? Um, so it's kind of like you're definitely not interested in making lateral moves because that's a waste of your energy. Moving left or moving right doesn't get you forward. It just gets you from one side to the other. So I, I feel like you're in this position here where you're going to get to this place coming through in August where you say, okay, I'm either going to stay where I am. So think of it like this. If you watch American football, I like to use football analogies. I'm so weird. This is either like a defensive move. This is blocking. Okay. Like, um, you know, I guess a tight end, <laughs> maybe somebody's got a tight end, um, or is it? or is a tight end maybe somebody said you're so uptight um so this is like i'm gonna i'm gonna block i'm gonna hold that ball and block and not let anybody get it or i'm gonna be the receiver and i'm just gonna keep rushing to the end and end, end zone okay there's love coming in so yeah there's a decision here 
and this could be this person. Is this person going to fit the ideal that I have and that I wish for because I'm open to it, but are they coming in that way? Is somebody chasing after me? Like what's, apart from the fact that somebody here wants that uh, emotional connection, are they someone that is capable to meet your needs, right? So you're going to have a decision whether or not to block this love. Okay, somebody's coming in. Well, there could be somebody coming in who feels like they don't want to miss an opportunity with you. Um, you might refuse the offer. You might not. Okay, there might be too much stagnation in a connection. You, you might just be like, I got to find that out. Okay, somebody's definitely nostalgic about you. If you knew them before, I do feel like they're going to come in and try to make a love offer, but I feel like you're going to be sitting, see how the arms are crossed, doing a little self-soothing and maybe blocking the offer at first because you may not be sure that this is either the person, place, or thing that you want. Let me see what your advice is in August for this situation because you definitely have somebody coming in. Like they're chasing after you. Could be an Aries, could be a Leo. Could be a Sagittarius. Um, could be a Cancer. All right, let's see. What is what is Virgo's advice? Oh, huh, your advice is love. Okay, they just gave me this conflict card. <laughs> All right, your advice is make peace make love not war that's your advice okay make love not war okay love L love will overcome conflicts happy couples this is soulmate this is soulmate connection take the offer that's your advice don't fight the love okay <laughs> There is no perfect love, I just heard. There's no perfect love. There, there's no perfect person. There's always going to be conflict. Everybody wants the... Um, I mean, there's like a spectrum of difficulty in a love relationship. Some people just gel perfectly. But even those, the best of us, who gel almost at 99%, it's positive. There's always that 1% of difference. And that's why we have skills to cope through conflict. We have to develop those skills, right? I feel like whoever's coming in here or returning to you, whichever, um, it could be both. So keep that in mind. This is a soulmate connection. This is a soulmate. This is the best. Okay, there's a quality, attraction. There's a beautiful connection. Um... Don't, def don't be defensive or territorial. I think you need to explore this offer that's coming in. I feel like that is what the advice is here. Okay, it could be coming in from King of Wands again. <laughs> this is Aries for some of you. Um, but this person, whatever their sign is, um, they're coming in very energetic and optimistic and confident about this connection or at least about you. Okay. Um, I feel like you want to, and you will want to. I feel like you're open and ready. But if this is someone from your past, you might be conflicted about this connection, okay? Maybe you, uh, for some of you, you might find out that they are in, they're with somebody else. And so you might decide that you would just be friends Okay, and that's just a small message for some of you. Remember, take what resonates. The whole story may not be for you. There's different things coming through. But yeah, somebody coming through here who's very motivated, shows up very motivated about you and um, very charming, action-oriented, passionate, proud, coming through, very honest. Okay, let me see. What's external? Okay, whoever this person is, your advice here is to, I feel like it's make a decision if, if it's just better to be only friends with this person when they approach, or if they're coming in honest and telling you that 
they want to be with you um, and that they're not with someone else, then you have a decision here to make if you're going to accept that love offer that they make because they're going to make it. Let me just take a look a little bit more at this person's energy. Okay. Hmm. All right. They're very patient. Oh, this person definitely wants to marry you. You are it for them. They might um, come in and tell you that they are connected to someone, um, but it's very conflicted. It's it's troublesome. So a lot of fighting and arguments, disagreements. It's a huge struggle. They're they're clashing. They don't get along, um, and they may tell you that they're just being friends. But th this is a conversation, okay? Because we have love, vision. They envision themselves with you and conflict. But this person, I do feel like they've been working to try to repair the relationship. Um, but you know what? At the end of the day, Virgo, I know you're like, well, go do it then and come back to me when you're single, ready, willing, and able. So I do feel like a lot of you are not going to accept someone who's, you know, um, they may tell you that they've been trying to repair it and it's not going anywhere. And you might just be the, um, for some of you, the, um, the catalyst that really makes them realize that they've been putting extra effort in. This person may be very codependent and they've been trying to manipulate their their marriage or their relationship with someone to work, but it's fruitless and they just haven't come to terms with that until they meet you, until they meet you. Yeah, there will be some communication from this person. You should go over to my Moon Pie Tarot channel because there was... The page of um, pentacles was in the position of this person's, ex their energy. So there might be more of a message for you over there. And remember that is um, a uh, collective all signs, but you know, you might get something out of it. I feel like this person is going to try to invest in you, um, but you might be on the fence. Like I said, you want to accept the love, but I feel like for a lot of you, Okay, if this is somebody new or somebody in the past returning, for a lot of you, I do feel like you're going to have to just make a decision here about whether to just say to them, and I feel like that's what you're going to do. Some of you are going to say, okay, finish your business and let me know when you're ready, then we can talk. And others of you might actually um, give them a chance, but I feel like they're going to be persistent with you. All right, let me see what your hopes and wishes are in regards to this. Okay. Yeah, so you hope it's good news. <laughs> you hope this person comes in like um, freeing themselves up from whatever they are, they've got going on here. Okay, Posi that they come in with this Cupid's Arrows positive news. Okay, and um, that they really make even holiday romance, that this person really makes a move to not just be all about the talk, but be all about the walk, okay? To show you that, you know, whoever they're with or whatever they've let go of or come to realize that it's not, that person is not for them, you hope and you wish that they will come forward the way that you need them to. Okay, wow. Got the page of cups and moving on for the outcome somebody's you're getting an apology from somebody um there's going to be an apology i don't know if this is connected but i feel like you're you're going to get an apology from someone who may have abandoned you or your plans or walked away okay definitely somebody had taken that time out to do a lot of introspection took a deep with a uh, look within themselves about how they have disappointed you if you knew them before okay um an apology and um, wow, this person psychically intuits what you say to them. If you talk to them psychically, they hear you. This person comes in. I'm hearing I was really naive. You know, I made a mistake. Um, and even if you don't know this person, I feel like there will be some conversation. Um, that they were with someone and they realized that, you know, this could be, like I said, somebody new, um, that they're working on getting out of the marriage, okay? And 
uh, going through a separation and they're paying alimony or child support or getting the finances together, but they would like to invest in you, okay? Um, dealing with the inner child. Um, this person might tell you that they've met their person or either they met their person when they were very young or they were in their youth to some degree. Maybe they have children or a child together um, and they were naive back then. Or you and this person met when you were younger and things were not in harmony and you separated and now they're coming back like you guys might have just went your separate ways and now they want to try to bring things back into balance we have sagittarius energy here as well let me see yeah did i say all right now they're just saying pull, pull an absolute outcome okay huh you've got the higher font so traditional values conformity marriage commitment so i feel like this is a situation here that is going to if it's allowed and if it's what you want turn into a committed relationship and it like i get it you don't want your past back that's fine we know this may not be for you but it might be somebody new so keep that in mind keep your mind open when i give these readings okay taurus energy here right, let me get the love messages here and see what's going on because you are ready for love and as soon as you're ready for love in it comes but just remember if you're open and ready for love you're also open not just for new love but you're also opening yourself up to past love doesn't mean that you have to accept it you're not a victim in anything if you don't want the past love back you just say to yourself or to that person i'm sorry I've moved on and just you don't have to rehash it you don't have to talk about it anymore when you're really done with the past you don't talk about it anymore if you're still talking about the past and you're still saying I don't want the past back I don't want the past back I don't want the past back who are you who are you talking to you're trying to convince yourself that's all you're doing you're just trying to convince yourself of this because you're not fully over it that, and the more you try to talk, the more you talk about it, the more people are going to see, you know, you're giving it a lot of attention still. I mean, when you're finished, you're finished. <laughs> you don't eat your dinner and then spend the next year talking about that dinner that you had, saying how much you hated it. So, you know, what's going on? If, if, if you, you don't go back to restaurants that serve shitty service and the food is rotten, do you? No. You just say, eh, that was awful. Moving on, next. And you go to the next restaurant, the one that's better. You know, so, I don't know. I just feel like somebody needed to, like, understand that the more that you're talking about how much you hate the past, or how you're still attached to it, and you're just trying to convince yourself that you're, <laughs> see? <laughs> you're trying to convince yourself that you're free while you're in this separation. But you may not be, Okay. And I don't feel like this is this is saying to you to separate to free yourself. I feel like this message is free yourself from this separation. Let it go. If you're in separation with someone, free yourself from the separation and just be done with it. Okay? The more you focus on a thing, the more you you know what you what you think about is what you bring about. Okay? And attract that romantic love attract that new love okay you attract romantic love by staying in the moment and if your moment is filled with a separation and you're constantly focused on how much you're separated from somebody um, you'll always stay separated from them and if you are focused on how much you are free in your life then you'll be free right it's it's all about what you're focusing on is how i feel here what's going on with this person okay so healing family issues your love life begins or benefits as you forgive your parents okay i'm not sure exactly who that's for but this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek so some of you this could be somebody that you already know doesn't mean you had to have been in a relationship with them it's just somebody that you've you've known before You've already met this person. Okay. 
and you need to pay attention to any red flags. And listen to me, this is not only red flags in anybody else, but in yourself. Okay, we're not clean white flags every single day. We all have red flags. They might be teeny tiny, they might be huge. Not everybody we meet, well, yeah, everybody's going to have red flags, even us. So paying attention to the red flags should be paid attention as much within yourself as they are within other people. That's an interesting message. <clears throat> Let me get some Moonology cards. This reading is going to be a little short, even though it's 30 minutes. I'm just going to end it here, you guys, because I get an appointment that I have to go to. Well, by the time you're getting this, it's I'm, I'm on priority in bed, but <laughs> as I'm recording this, which actually the time right now is 3.11 p.m., so 3.11 might mean something to you guys. 3.11, March 11, 3.11. Okay, expect powerful change, a new moon eclipse. All right, you guys, August 27th is going to be significant. I feel like, did I say that yesterday in one of my readings? I don't know if it was on this channel or the other channel. Powerful change, August 27th. Let me take a look. I want to just see what's going on with this powerful change. Show Virgos. What is this powerful change? Wow, six of pentacles <gasps> and a wish coming true. Somebody's going to be 100% reciprocal. You're going to get this. The sixes represent change always. You see how this person is giving change? This represents change, a res an energetic reciprocity. In order, yeah, somebody's coming in here to fulfill all of your emotional wishes and needs as best as possible. Uh, it's almost like you're going to get a genie in a lap. Somebody's going to drop some coins in your coin slot just to say it like that, if that's what you want to know. This is amazing, and you're ready for this. Here's the Hierophant again, okay? This is the real thing, okay? This is what this show, August 27th, new moon. The new moon is going to be powerful. I know it says eclipse. I don't know if we have a new moon eclipse around that time, but there is a new moon. It's at 8.17 universal time. Okay, so pay attention to that time period, that date. Let me see. Yeah, there's going to be some communication around that time. There's going to be some travel. Um, somebody's buying a ticket or paying for a ticket. Okay, to travel, which is the Eight of Wands. This is air travel. Okay, so you might be getting a visitor around that time or somebody you're connecting with. It's going to make you very, 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 very happy. This is powerful. Major change. Okay, so we, like I said, it's either, we'll have to wait and see. I'm feeling like it would make for some of you it's a past situation and for others it's somebody new because we do have, you do have the date card meeting somebody new, dating, getting back out there planning and setting a date, but this could be um, a re-emergence of a love situation, okay? And as I, just because I'm giving the message, right, give your relationship a chance, there's your card. Giving that message doesn't mean that you have to do it, okay? Past life relationship for some of you, they have, someone's got romantic feelings and reconciliation, getting to know each other again. So, you know, Virgo, <laughs> you do what you have to do. I'm just, just a general message. Keep it in mind. Just enjoy the chat and we'll see what the weekend brings. But keep in mind, August 27th feels like it's going to be profound. It's going to be powerful. All right, I'm going to leave your messages there. I will get back to the charms and the, um, my Dungeons and Dragons numbers on Thursday. All right, you guys. Love ya. See ya. Bye.